Hi everyone, welcome to Pimo Canada Immigration. I'm Zhang Hui, an RCC and an active Chinese lawyer. Last time, we explained the refugee appeal. Today, we will explain the pre-removal risk assessment, PRA. The PRA is a mechanism to ensure for nationals whose removal order has come into force and is to be removed from Canada will not be removed to a country where they would be in danger of torture, be at risk of persecution, or face a risk to their life of cruel and unusual treatment or punishment. However, some situations will cause foreign nationals ineligible for a PRA. This includes a foreign national whose refugee claim was ineligible to be referred to the Immigration and Refugee Board, the IRB, because of the Safe Third Country Agreement. A foreign national who is recognized as a Commission refugee by another country where they may return to. A foreign national who is already confirmed refugee protection in Canada, or a foreign national who is subject to extradition. Generally, foreign nationals eligible for a PRA will be notified by a Canada Border Services Agency, CBSA officer. In most cases, foreign nationals who fall within the foreign situations have to wait 12 months before they may apply for a PRA. They abandoned or withdrew the refugee claim or PRA. Their refugee claim was refused by the IRB. Their PRA was refused. Their judicial review application for their refugee claim or PRA was refused by the federal court. Once a foreign national is notified by a CBSA officer that they may apply for a PRA, they must complete the PRA application form and submit it within either 15 days or 22 days. If the form was delivered to them in person, then the applicable deadline is 15 days. They should submit an explanation later to explain what risk they would face if being removed from Canada, as well as supporting documents. Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, is responsible for PRAS. A PRA is normally assessed on paper, but a hearing will be held if the key issue for the assessment is the credibility or if the applicants whose claim was ineligible to be referred to the IRB solely because they made a refugee claim in an information-sharing country, namely in the United States, New Zealand, Australia, or the United Kingdom. If the applicant's PRA is successful, in most cases, they become a protected person. Then they may apply for permanent residence. However, if the applicants are inadmissible on the grounds of security, violation of human or international rights, organized criminality, or serious criminality, even if their PRA is positive, they can't be conferred refugee protection, but they will be allowed to stay in Canada. If the applicant's PRA is unsuccessful, they must leave Canada. Although they may seek judicial review if they think the refusal is wrong, they still have to leave unless the federal court orders to stay their removal order. For more information, please visit IRCC webpage Pre-Removal Risk Assessment in the description below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. We wish you a wonderful Canadian immigration journey and welcome you to reach out to us. Next time, we will explain the Port of Entry Examination. See you on October 24th.